Welcome, everybody. Really, really nice to see you on this Saturday morning. Uh, as I was telling some folks, um, I will be here this Saturday. I will be here next Saturday. I will be, I will be the next Saturday, although you may not see me here. I'm going to be traveling. Um, the Monday classes, I'll be at this Monday's class. And Rita, uh, if you know Rita Tan, uh, and you may or may not, but uh, she is another fabulous instructor. Rita will be doing the Monday class uh, on the 5th of July because I will be with family. So I just wanted people to know that um, that class will be done and uh, everything else is just gonna go according to how it normally goes. So you will need a chair today and I'm advising water. It's quite hot and it's summertime and it's a good thing anyway. So what's gonna happen today? Well, remember last week, anyone remember? We had giant bird on our arm, right? Uh, a, a, a large macaw. And we're going we're gonna to review all of that today. That was the beginning of Grasp the Bird's Tail, one of the signature move sequences in the Young Family long form. It's just a, it's an amazing set of sequence. And in a few weeks, when you have that whole sequence down, you'll be able to just keep doing it. And, and, and we'll do that together. We'll do that sequence to sort of that mini sequence of the form and you'll be able to do it in, in you know, just keep doing it. So you'll actually have something that you can kind of do and turn and do and turn and do and turn when you don't know uh, all the form yet. So it's a really, it's a really wonderful thing to practice. Uh, hi, Mariel and Rima, it's so good to see you here today. Wonderful to have you joining us. Um, what else are we gonna do today? We are gonna review what we did last week because it was a big move and it was the first time we'd really been doing the bow, bow steps. And then we are also gonna do some of the skills we're gonna need in this grasp the bird's tail sequence. So we're gonna do a little more on arm shape and body shape. We're just gonna get an introduction to that. And we're also gonna start really talking a little bit about, about, about this part of our body and how it can move in time with the way our hips are turning, and it can also move some independently. For this particular move, we're not gonna have to pay too close attention to whether they're together or not, but I want you to start getting a feel for that, and this was a good day for us to add that in. So that is indeed what we're gonna do. So we're gonna actually warm up today together in our chair. So if you could get a chair, and don't sit in it yet, just get your chair. Um, if I can see you, that's great. If I can't see you, that's okay. If you don't have it, you can do this standing up. It's just a little more difficult for you uh, to get the feel. So what I want you to do first is stand in front of your chair because you're going to sit down in this chair. And then I want you to have that moment. We've been talking about this moment, right? I want you to have that moment of getting ready to sit down in it, right? So just do that. I mean, you're really gonna sit down in it, right? You're, I mean, go ahead, sit down in it, sit down in it, sit down in it, sit down in it. Okay, now you can stand back up. I want you to get into that. I want you to take a moment and feel what your body does. I want to, you to feel your hips. Do you see that? They, they start to reach for that chair. Now, yeah, at some point you may reach back or you may put your arms out or you may do something else, but there's that moment, right? When your body goes, Oh, oh, it's down there. That, that chair's there, right? That's that moment I've been talking about. That moment, right? When we've been standing kind of like this and we, and we start to drop our hips. We think about, and that dropped hip, that dropped hip right there, that's the Tai Chi position, right? And, and, and you could keep dropping it. You could bend your knees and keep dropping it and, and actually sit down in that chair but this is something you can practice this week, right? You can, you can just, it's just that first little bit. It's that first little bit. It's that we walk around like this a lot because we're, we're, we're tight, a lot of us, right? But when we sit in a chair, we relax that because you gotta, right? So I want you to actually practice that this week. There's lots of times throughout the day when you sit down. We won't go into all of them, right? But there's lots of times when you sit down. Every time you sit down, you can just go, hmm, 
can I, you can also work on, you know, your quads, same time, but feel that. Now I want to, let's talk about sitting. I know a lot of us sit like this, you know, it's like, I'm sit like this. We do all this stuff, right? We do all that, right? But have you sat on your sit bones recently? So if you've got a hard chair, it's particularly easy to find it. You kind of wiggle, you wiggle your, um, <laughs> your butt. And even if your butt is like mine and it's kind of padded, you kind of wiggle your butt a little bit and you just try to, can you feel those two bones? They're kind of, I don't know, they're kind of right there. They're just, they're called sit bones. Can you get so you can feel those sit bones? I want you to feel those sit bones. So just feel, feel those sit bones. And then I want you to go in to prepare. I want you to ground your feet. You may need to be like at the edge of that chair. Feel those sit bones. So I don't want you to lean back or whatever. I want you to feel the sit bones. That's very important. If you can't quite feel them, just imagine that the bottom of you is like a platform and, and, you, and you're on that whole platform. You're just sinking in with, your, with the, the bottom of you, okay? And then I want you to just feel that extension that extension right up through the top of you and out the top of the head. Very, very nice. Relaxed, suspended. You can let your arms hang down or you can let your arms just, you know, do that, that palm up position some of you may have done in other contexts, whatever, whatever works for you. Just get that nice, extended head lifting up, prepare feeling. How about your feet? Can you feel your feet? Now, not everybody's chair works. Can you get where you can actually feel your feet? Now you've got a three-way rooting, interesting, huh? You've got your feet somehow connected to the ground, hopefully equally. You have those sit bones, oh my gosh. They are connecting you but your spine is gently stretching up and down into the, that chair and out to the very top of your head. And if you let your arms come down, we can do opening from here, right? So we're still grounded in that chair and in the floor, and we're gonna feel that stretch across our back and that lever, our arms floating up. And then those elbows go first and it's like a wave and we push that ball down, nice. Feel that ball. You may have to get out of the way of your, of your, of your knees. Can you, can you, where's that point? Where's that point where you can't push anymore? Find that point. Can be a little different from everybody. Nice. And let's do that again. Get that prepare feeling. You know, you can do this and you can breathe, you can expand and maybe breathe in. You could do this during the week. Extend it. And then starting to droop those elbows and that push down, that powerful push down, feel those feet too. It's like this dynamic tension, lovely, great. So this position can be a position you have any time. I just want you to enjoy that position. Notice that you can align your spine and actually move over. I think it's gonna help to be right in front of the camera. All right, so, um, See if I can get myself there. There we go. So now what I want you to do, be grounded, be in prepare, but be also relaxed. Remember that suspended feeling. I want you to grab hold of a marker or a paintbrush and put it right in your belly button and relax and do, you know, be in prepare. And I want you to have your feet grounded. Now, if you want, 
if you're mirroring me, this would be your right side over here. And, um, and you can push with this foot. It may help you a little bit. But I just want you to keep, the, keep your body the way it is. Don't worry about turning anything else. Can you just push maybe with this foot a little bit and keep, your, keep those sit bones stuck? You are completely stuck to that chair. But can you push and just, can you paint just an inch or so? Just an inch or so and come back with that paintbrush or that marker? And can you do it on the other side? Can you push with the other foot? See that? So those sit bones are not changing, right? They're grounded. You do feel some movement if you push with that other foot and it kind of helps to do that. Some of us have a lot of flexibility here. Most of us don't, especially if we're not yet turning any other part of our spine, but just that very bottom. So let's move up now and say, oh, I'm going to turn this whole part, right? This whole part. I'm going to put this big brush here. You can put your hands here or not. Doesn't matter to me. Helps me to kind of put them here and bring them up. So I'm going to push with this foot. It's probably your right foot. I'm going to go that way. And I'm going to I'm gonna allow my spine to turn just up to this point. Oh, look, further. I want you to experience that. Come down, let's do it on the other side, push with that other leg. Feel it turning. I want you to do this again, and I want you to notice, come back to center. I want you to push, turn, and I want you to notice that your butt is still in that chair, right? Your knees are still in line with your toes. You're not moving a lot on your hips. I don't want you to move on your hips, okay? Now, let's go ahead and let it go from here all the way up, okay? So here we go. We're gonna go this way. So we're gonna maybe push a little here. Feel the spine turn. Just get a feel for where you can go. And then you can even turn your head if you want. You've done this before. You want to stay very aligned. That Tai Chi pole is still in play. And they're, you're nice. Come back. And your sit bones are still stuck. Right? Your hips are still stuck. Let's go on the other side. Feel that progressive turn in your spine and then come back. All right, so I wanna, I wanna talk to you guys about this or I wanna hear from you. Um, many of you are, are muted, but if you're not muted or for, first of all, was that interesting for any of you? Did, you? did you notice something you hadn't noticed before in any of the activities we've done so far? Is this any of this new to you? Okay, I'm not seeing a lot of, oh yeah, this is new to me. This is, this is good. You guys look like you were, you, were, you were doing this. How many of you had that feeling of releasing your waist? I mean, we, we, it's interesting that I'm gonna sometimes confuse you a little bit, but there's a point in my confusing you. So the, the, in, in, um, in Mandarin and in Chinese, they actually refer to that part of your lower back that we're, we're making flatter when we, when we go to sit down, when we go to get in our Tai Chi position as your waist, not as sort of something that goes around this way. And that is sort of the point where this flexibility we've just been playing with starts. So, so oftentimes you'll hear Tai Chi people say turning your waist. Um, and they don't mean necessarily turning around this band necessarily, but they mean relaxing the waist is this, is this part back here. And they, and they do mean using that, to, um, that flexibility to, to, in your spine to do interesting things. So I wanted to just introduce that to you. And how about, were you able to keep sitting in the chair? Were you able, just thumbs up, or you can talk to me, whatever you want to do. 
were you able to keep your, um, your bottom fairly still and those sit bones down? I'm seeing a yes from some people. Yeah, yeah, good. And turn, good, good. And did anybody feel like they got more of a turn by it going progressively up or were you kind of stuck in the same place all the time? When you kind of came up higher and engaged your shoulders, were you able to turn further, even though the other? Yeah, I'm seeing a yes. So this is the way we, the way it works. We spiral up. And of course, our alignment is very important because we don't want to stress our spine while we're spiraling. Um, so you experience that we can turn our upper bodies while our lower bodies are held secure. Chair is helping us with that. And if you want to work on your, you can actually develop an ease with relaxing this part of you by just some good posture, believe it or not, right? And by doing this kind of activity, which you can do, you know, periodically in a break from your computer. So keep that in mind, stand up. You can put your chair away. And what I would like to do now is take us back to the standing position, okay? So we're gonna stand and I want you to be in this kind of prepare mode, right? Be in that prepare mode. And so get yourself centered. Head lifting up. Body suspended, nice. Feet grounded, Tai Chi pole centered. And then how about that sit in the chair moment? We experience that, ah, nice. I see it happening to people. Nice, feel, do you see how that helps you feel your feet? Weight completely on all of your feet. Feel that, nice. And let's go into prepare. We're coming up. And those droopy elbows and pushing down, feel the push, feel the push. That's a push hand. Get to the bottom. Nice. Are you still relaxed? Imagine sitting a little bit now. Imagine that sit. Okay, now, can we just turn but not turn our hips? Turn back, turn, turn back. Now, when we do this in the movement we're working on, it's going to be easier. We're not going to have to worry about our hips. But for right now, I want you to just do it without your hips. Can you keep those, that bottom of you really quiet? Nice. Like it's sitting in the chair. Imagine if you want to bend your knees. And imagine you're sitting in the chair, that's just fine. We're gonna stay centered also. You see that? Turn, turn back. Let's bring our arms up. Let's bring our arms up. Can we do that foamy water thing? Can we let our upper bodies go? But can you keep your lower body? So we could, we could do this with our arms, right? We could just do this, right? But how about doing it with your body? So. So take that center line of yours and can you, can you throw them with your, with your center line? Can you throw them back? Are you keeping your hips pointed forward? Just kind of, can you turn? Can you turn your upper body independent of your lower? So look at yourself if you can see, and if you're doing this, 
You don't have that lower body in a chair, right? If you're doing this, if you're doing this, can we do this? So check out your hips. You don't want the hips going. It may be just a little, so let's do this again. We're gonna have that marker. Maybe you can only go a little ways and back and a little ways and back. And when you do, you may have to push with another leg, right? To stabilize those hips. Really get that because you you've now found that you may want to swing those hips. Then how about, can you make this whole thing go a little bit more? But you may have to push with this other leg in order to make that work, in order to keep the bottom of you stable, right? So this is something in Tai Chi that I and other instructors are going to talk about. They're going to talk about keeping the lower part of you. Do you see how my hips are pretty quiet? They're not moving, but my upper body is moving. This torso is moving. Now, again, in the move we're doing today, this will not be as important, but it's going to be very, very important in Grass the Bird's Tail as we go on. So I wanted to introduce you to that. Um, any questions about this? We'll be coming back to it. Great. Oh yeah, Margaret. Um, it, was a, it was hard for me to separate my upper and lower body, but I don't think you're really saying separate. But we start moving from, from the sacrum. That's where it starts yes. from. So I was starting to go for my shoulders and all kinds of stuff. Well, eventually you're going to spiral up and include your shoulders, right? I mean, you're going to, how do I want to say it? You're going to include your upper spine, okay? A twist in your upper spine. But yes, you're, and, and in order to, to do it down here, you can't turn much as easily, at least I can't. You can't turn much. You may know more than I do about the, um, uh, the anatomy, but uh, you can't, and, uh, unless you've really kind of, you're a little more loose and unlocked. And when you're loose and unlocked, it's easier. This is also true of, of how this hip turns out. You see, that's the other thing we've done. So let's do a little of that right now. This, uh, this is, it's different, but it's related. So when we've got our knees bent and we're gorilla-ing, you know, that's dropping that pelvis. That's the other way is not thinking about sitting down in a chair, thinking about being a gorilla, dropping, dropping it. That unlocks the pelvis. And then this turns a lot better when we're there. Remember, we did this and we did the, and this we will be doing today. We will be turning out here. And when we do, if you put your hand on the back of your hip, and when we do that, you'll notice your hand does move because you're moving that hip. But if you put your hand on the back of the other hip, you'll notice it doesn't have to move. It's still sitting in a chair. You got that? So we can move one hip at a time. We can open one side of our quad at a time. We can now go over and open the other side, right? Gorilla, knee bump, right? And then you can do the same thing. You can say, okay, I'm gonna put my hand on the, you know, that pocket you have in your blue jeans and turn out and you watch your hand actually kind of moves. Look at my elbow. It's not, it's, it's coming in and out of you, right? Yours are too, right? But if you, when you do that, if you put your hand on the other side, See, my elbow is just staying quiet. So we can do that one at a time. Much harder to do that if we stand absolutely with a tight lower back. Hey, give, that, give that a try. <laughs> it's like, I really, I really have a hard time. I have, to, I have to relax that lower back in order to do that. And then I'm able to do it. And there, it's slightly different what we're doing, but. These are things for you to explore because it's going to give you flexibility you didn't know you had. Margaret, did you want to say something more? No. Okay. Are you good? 
Very good. Two thumbs up. How about everybody else? I know this is a lot, but it's new. All right. So this is going to be fun. Um, I want you to put your imaginations on again. And it's really important you do that. Okay. Just like when we shot bows and arrows, right? You got to go with this. So, um, so you, you take class with TD, you got to sometimes do the crazy things, right? Today though, it's summertime. Uh, I want you to imagine that there are butterflies. Butterflies have come to visit you in your house. So forget about everything, forget about everything. Uh, and, and for some reason, whether it's because you were sweaty because it was hot or you put on some beautiful perfume today or what it is, but you, uh, you have something on your forearms, something on your forearm that's going to attract the butterflies. And um, so you're going to see them flying around. I want you to pick a butterfly, a, a color or whatever. Then I want you to put out, I'm not going to do it because I'm not going to model this for you. I want you to go ahead right now, pick a butterfly that you see, and I want you to let the butterfly land on that arm. Let the butterfly land on that arm. Lovely. I am seeing butterflies on that arm. Okay. Now, could you imagine that you have, this really happened, you have a friend there. And, and maybe you have an, a, a friend that can't come to you, but the friend really loves butterflies. So can you, can you walk a little and take that butterfly to your friend? Ah, oh, lovely. Oh my. So I want you to experience what that's like. Now, can you, can you give that butterfly to your friend? Like they have an arm, maybe encourage that. Oh, lovely. Yes. Yes, okay, and your other arm. Now a butterfly has landed there. Okay, yes. All right, and would you do the same thing again? Find a friend, give it to a friend. I wish you all could see this. All right, so tell me about this experience. So tell, me, tell me about this experience. Did you notice anything that happened to your arm after the butterfly landed? I really want you to unmute if you can. Um, tell me about this experience. Did you notice anything in your body or your arm after the butterfly landed and, and what you did after that? Mary. I felt a lot of strength. She felt a lot of strength. Did, you, did anything, I mean, it just jumped in there? Somehow? Well, lift, lifting up my arm, um, I was feeling kind of the muscles that are involved in lifting your arm and keeping it there, which is not something I normally do. So there was an awareness of your arm, and I'm right. hearing maybe your whole arm seemed somehow connected in a way it hadn't been before. Yeah. Or stronger, stronger, stronger. the word That's you used. Stronger. Okay, sounds good. Uh, who else? Uh, Janet, you're unmuted. Do you have something to say? No, I could feel it when it landed. It was like a little tiny breeze. Ah, oh, <laughs> I love it. I love it. Yeah, so this increased awareness of, of your arm and the area of your arm because something was happening there. You know, we talk about PowerPoints in Tai, tai Chi, and that's an increase of, in order to, to do that, we we have to have uh, increased awareness of a particular spot. How about, how about uh, anything else that you noticed happening? Anyone else want to share? I felt um, that my whole body went very, very still because I didn't want to make a sudden movement to scare it away. So all of this was not moving more than it had to. And even when I moved to give it, I was keeping very much on the level. Right. Oh, well done. Well done. I noticed this in all of you also. I noticed all of these things in you. So once those butterflies landed and you got, you folks really went with it, 
your arms went from being like this, you know, kind of just like they were there to being like this. They, they stretched out a little bit. They, you know, some of them were like this, some of them were like this, some were more angled, some were, but they, all of them stretched out a little bit. Your bodies did still. You, you could tell, I could tell in watching that your whole focus was on that arm. And it, it and what, um, was it, was it Mary who said originally about it being stronger? Was it you, Mary? Yeah. Yeah. Well, well, yeah. It, it just, you, you, you folks looked like it wasn't just a thing anymore, a part of your body, but it was kind of unified, right? So it, you, you were, you were standing around and I was talking to you and then you kind of looked down at your arm and then this happened. Yeah. You know, it was really interesting. I want to tell you that's Tai Chi. Your body already knows a lot about how to do it. This paying attention, we've talked about this before, this unifying kind of feeling where your body knits together and it stills and it's doing one thing. This is Tai Chi. This is what we're coming to do. It's very hard because we learn these sequences and it's this plus this and oh my gosh, I have to be here and ah. Oh. But I want you to come back periodically. As you get familiar, you'll be able to come back and say, oh, it all comes together because each of these little pieces will become one whole as you practice. So, so that will be there. I want to now go back to something you already know. And I want you to get this sort of butterfly feeling. Now you don't have to carry a butterfly with you. And I don't care if you do it perfectly. I don't care if the butterfly's on top of your head, what's going on, but can you get into prepare? and have that butterfly feeling. If it wants to ride on your arm, let it ride on your arm. If it wants to ride on your shoulder, let it ride on your shoulder or your head. And now we'll do opening. You're coming up and going down. Lovely. Just relish that. You never have to do the moves perfectly. Let's also come up. I want to tell you a couple more things about body shape, and then we're going to get right back into what we did last week. And it's going to be hard to carry this stuff with us. But how about we hug a tree? And I think sitting in that chair a little bit and gorilla ing is going to help. Let's hug a tree, hug a tree. Now, I want you to feel like your elbows are heavy. I mean, they're heavy. You've got to hug the tree, but they are heavy, heavy. I mean, like a two pound weight on each elbow. Okay, nice. Look at those elbows droop. Now, maybe that was too heavy, but you know, I want them drooping. Nice. Whenever you can't, and, 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 no shoulders up, you're suspended, you're suspended. No elbows up, down, down. It's almost as if you had weights on the end here. Yeah, if, if you haven't done this in a while, you're gonna have to like get down. It's almost like you had, had a weight here, but it's also kind of like you had a, a cable. You see this right here? almost like you had a cable that went out, out and pulled the elbow out and down, out and down. Notice how that can actually pull across your back. Yeah, we'll be talking more about that. But I want to, um, yeah, sack of apples now, sack of apples. This is easier, right? Sack of apples coming up, group those elbows out. We've done this before. We've come in, breathing tree, right? If you wanna carry a butterfly, go ahead. 
out in lots more to this layer. Now, can you, can you turn, can you turn and close? Can those arms be extended? Yeah, nice. Can you come out? Big blob, big blob, big blob. Biggest, uh, let's see, tribble you've ever seen. Nice furry, come across the top. Elbows are heavy, yeah. And now tribble, you're gonna, you're gonna pet the tribble or the blob floating in the air, come around it and pet the other side, close, nice. It's a triple. You've got to imagine this big blob in front of you. Just imagine this big blob. The hardest thing to start is going to be, and if it starts to get really hard, just bring it down so it's not quite so high. But you want to keep those elbows feeling like they're always drooping. Nice. That's much better. Okay, so here it is. There's, a tr there's this oval thing right here. It's an oval thing. And you're just rubbing your hands. I like to think of it actually as a floating, cool blob of water. And I get to just put my hands around it. Okay, it's another thing you can do. Open and close. I want to show you when I'm closed that it's not like this. It's like this. Okay. Open. Close. We'll be doing this next week too. Open. Close. Feel. Feel, feel, feel. You're going across the top of that blob, up the sides, down the sides, and back across the bottom or the furry tribble, right? I want you to also notice something else. If it wasn't a blob, look what could happen right here. Push a button. <laughs> look at this butterfly arm. That's kind of a butterfly arm. This is just to start an introduction. Check it out. Remember the arms we did last week? All right, so we did some arms and we were swinging them. Remember that? So for right now, I don't care if you, you know, what you move, we can move your, your leg or not at, the mo at this moment, it doesn't matter to me, but I wanna just go over the arms again. So mirror me, which means, this should be, put up your right hand. Everybody put up your right hand. Okay, if you put up your right hand, great. Okay, so this is how I'm doing it, is you should see me right across from you uh, at the moment, right? So we're gonna put our hands down and we're gonna turn and then turn back. And when we turn back, we're gonna throw this up. Remember that? And then we're gonna bring it down and we're gonna turn and turn back and throw it up. Push a button, right? Yeah, okay. And then do you remember what happened with the other arm? So we turned, the arm in back's gonna push a button, but the arm in front, what's it gonna do? Butterfly arm down. It's gonna look like this. Okay, so ready? Turn. Turn back, front arm, butterfly down. Come down, nice. We're gonna turn, back arm's gonna push a button, front arm's gonna uh, butterfly down. Turn back. Notice that arm is right in front of your shoulder. Bring your arm down and we're gonna Turn, turn back, swing up, push a button, 
Butterfly arm, nice, amazing. All right, come down and turn and turn back, push a button, butterfly arm. Okay, then, wonderful. Then we are going to close. All right, nice. Let's do this again. We can do it on the other side. Turn, turn back, close. Notice there's space. Notice in front of the shoulder, front of your other side, they switched sides. And then on this side, turn, turn back, push the button. Switch sides, close. Okay, nice. I love these butterfly arms. It's a real tendency to do this. Give yourself a little room. Looking good. All right, I'm gonna show you the, uh, the move that we're doing again. And let me actually share my screen and just show you that end posture again for the move, we, we did this last week and I think just about everybody was here then. Uh, oh dear, it looks like I don't see, actually don't see it. Never mind, I'm not gonna show you. So <laughs> I was gonna show you the picture of, uh, of the bird. Maybe I'll be able to cut it in. Of the bird perched on my arm, but remember, there is this, uh, this lovely thing where we are going to perch a, um, and again, if I'm mirroring you, right, it would be your left arm. It's, it's, it's your left arm. And we're going to end up perching a really big macaw right where that butterfly was. And, and you're going to pet that macaw and, and extend that arm out and you're gonna end up like this at the end. So it's, it's uh, I'm gonna show you the move, but then I'm gonna do it in some, uh, but then we're gonna go through it uh, bit by bit by bit again, and we'll be going through it every week. So I'm just gonna show you the whole move. So we start from the end of opening. And remember, I'm not mirroring you right now. I'm not mirroring you. You're gonna move to the left, turn out to the right. We're going to swing back and shift and all our weight, our Tai Chi pole is gonna be on this side. And we've got those hand positions. And then we're gonna close and unfold. And then we're gonna put the bird on this arm. And that bird's gonna be perched here. And I'm gonna pet that bird's tail as it goes up. And um, you probably saw this picture in our email. So we're gonna go through the very end of this with our footwork so you can see where those arms are gonna be. So let's go back to the footwork right now. Um, I wanna actually start this way and there's a little danger in my doing it this way, but then I can talk about the hip. What this means is, yes, thank you. You're lining up so that you have your shoulder to my shoulder and you're looking this way. So you can look at the screen and you can see me and, and we're also looking in the same direction here. What this means is you're gonna see me most of the time, but at one time I'm gonna ask you to turn away from me a little. That's okay, because we're gonna do it the other direction in just a minute but I wanna show you something with the hip. We did this last week. So do you remember we shifted a little bit to the left so that we could put our weight on the uh, right foot heel. And then we turned out, we, we unlocked, we, we acted as if we were about to sit in a chair so that we could turn out this thigh, turn out that foot and knee and then we're gonna 
move our weight over to the right and sink. So this left foot comes up on its toe. Then as we're standing there, we just unfold that foot and we root. We think about the fact that we're gonna move forward. And then we push with this back leg to help us get there. We absorb with the front as it just goes down, heel, ball, toe, and these hips turn to the corner. So you're at the corner and, and your left knee starts to bend. Put your hand on your back of your right hip and now turn that hip even more so that you can stand straight up. Now, when you do, yeah, you're gonna be turned away from me. So we're gonna do this to the other side. Now, I'll be turned away from you, but you'll be able to, you won't be able to see my hand quite as well, but um, you'll be able to see what happens. So we're gonna shift a little to the left. We're gonna turn out on that heel. We're going to pretend to sit in a chair. And as we do, as we sink, as we sit, we're gonna move our Tai Chi pole right over. So this leg is full and this leg is empty. Here we are up on the toe. We unfold and we root. We think about going forward. We make contact with that heel pad there, we root. Then we finish turning our hips to the corner as we go heel, ball, toe. And we've got weight on both feet now, but now we keep going until there's like a little more weight here and we turn this hip, we turn this hip. So we're very far open to the corner with our hips. We call this our qua and our whole center line from the top of our head. Well, not from the top of our head, from our collarbone all the way down to it is, is like my Tai Chi pole. You can't see it is pointed in this direction. Then I want you to swing this arm. I want you to swing it towards me. Swing this arm. Now stop swinging it carry a butterfly on that arm up beautiful butterfly arm pointed at me all right now imagine that it's not a butterfly it's a big bird a really big bird but for some reason not too heavy for you but you know mary says you're going to be strong it's perched there has a very long tail and this hand is down by your side, holding the bottom of that tail. So it has, it has this kind of look. Now I'm, I'm gonna be reversed to you now. It has this kind of look. So see how, how here's another way. It has this kind of look. Okay, we're gonna do that. One more time from here. We're gonna to shift to the left, turn out to the right. Let's put the arms in. So we're going to move our Tai Chi pole to the right as we shift. Here's the position. We've pushed with our right hand, our left hand is down. Uh, beautiful butterfly arm. Then we've got all our weight on the right foot so we can unfold left and we switch in that moment. We switch. This hand out here, the right hand is out but in front of our left shoulder. This hand is down um, near our right side which is starting to turn. Then we push with that back leg and this arm has a bird on it. This arm's gonna pet the bird and we're turning to the corner. Bird comes up, 
we stand up straight. You look at me and you're pushing down, you're holding down the bird's tail. This is looking good. All right, let's do it again. Let's actually do it from prepare. Opening. Our arms are coming down, they're pushing. This is gonna give us our starting position. Have you unlocked your pelvis? Are you thinking about, you sit down in a minute. We're gonna shift to the left. Turn out to the right, our arms are swinging. They're gonna swing back in a minute as we sit on the right side. All our weight is there. We unfold that left foot and close our arms and root. And then bird on the bottom arm. That arm's gonna stay pointing. Do you see how it's pointing towards me? You're gonna lift that arm turn to the corner, pet that bird all the way down its tail and turn your hip, opening your hips wide to this corner over here. And you're gonna look at me. Arms pushing down, not bent that much. Uh, yeah, push down till so you can't push anymore. Not here, here. Nice, nice. And the other arm, you know, Tai Chi butterfly arm. It's kind of straight, but it's a little bit. This is looking good. Do you have questions? This is complicated. This is our second week, at least. People have questions about this usually for about two years. So if you have questions, don't worry. <laughs> That's one of the more challenging moves, but I'd, I'd love to hear them. Are we good? Mariel, you have a thought? No? Okay. <laughs> it's fine. Uh, Margaret, how you doing? I have a question. Uh, yeah, Mary? Um, when you're moving your foot out, is it at a 90 degree angle or 45 degree angle? How, how, how much are you moving your right foot out, that first foot? Oh, at 45 degrees. So. Oh. The basic bow step, basic bow step is 45 degrees okay. here and then here, but we're just turned the other way and you really can't see that. Um, so we're gonna do it now uh, a couple of times in different directions, because I think the practice will really help. Anyone else have a question? I know we've done a lot today. Okay, so we're gonna, we're gonna start Start here, and we're gonna start from the end where we're pushing down. So prepare, but push down. So we finished opening. We're gonna shift a little bit to the left, turn out with our right foot to 45 degrees. Arms are swinging. We turn back, but we don't really turn our hips back. They're still there. We've pushed the button. We close, step, root. We're thinking about going forward. Then the bird flies onto our arm. We go forward. We turn to the corner. Our back leg straightens and our front leg is bent. And we're looking towards me at this point, right? Now, I want you to start, let's see. Start here and let's do it again. We're coming down and we are in the sort of prepare position, but at the end of opening, we're gonna shift to the left, turn out to the right, arm is swinging. We're gonna swing it back and up and all of our weight is on the right. We're gonna close step root and then push with the back foot and turn to the corner and pat that bird, hold its tail and look to the side of the room.
Now the last position will be a little confusing. You'll be pat away from me, but let's do it one more time. Coming down, shift to the left, turn to the right, all your weight on the right side as you come back and push that button, arms, switch, close, root. Now you're gonna be turning away from me towards your right corner. Bring that bird up and your arm goes away from the screen. Fabulous. Oh, this looks so good. Good job. I know there are several of you who've never done this before last week. It's just amazing. Really, really good work. Any other questions? Bye, Rita. <laughs> There's a seminar starting in two minutes, so I, I know where Rita's going. <laughs> Any final questions? All right, did people, if you're feeling overwhelmed, let me just say, you're smiling. I wanna point that out. Things to remember about today. The butterflies can visit you anytime. In complicated moves like this, it is okay to get it wrong. Invite the butterflies, enjoy the movement. Eventually it will come for you. Don't worry. Perfection is not the goal, right? Little steps. This is a big move with a big bird. You'll be doing it forever at the start of the form. Eventually you will get it, everybody does. All right, so just keep that in mind. It's part of what we do. And we're gonna drag our fingers through the sand, take a butterfly with you. It may change how you do it. Nice. You think they enjoy the ride? I've got a couple on my shoulders. And that's it. Thank you guys.